This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a Sidorti brand stainless steel adjustable U-lock with a disc detainer core. I bought this on Amazon, where it's advertised to possess, quote, maximum weather pick and pry resistance. As for the weather resistance, I have little reason to doubt the claims. Every visible surface is 304 stainless steel, which is what you might use to make a kitchen sink. Build quality also appears to be above average, though the design itself could certainly use some work. There are at least two vulnerabilities, one low skill and the other requiring at least some level of experience. The first issue is shimming, and I can demonstrate using the largest of the Covert Instruments padlock shims. We're going to slip these in between the lock body and the shackle, and then try to open it up. Notably, there are multiple locking positions all the way down the shackle, so we have to make sure that the shims stay in position. And I think I've got that. It's a little on the tight side. There we go. Let's lock it up one more time, and you can see the other vulnerability, which is picking. We have a disc detainer core, so the first thing we need to do is turn all of the discs as far clockwise as they'll go. Then I'm going to get the pick that Bosnia and Bill and I made and insert it such that we're only touching pin number one, or I'm sorry, disc number one. Okay, number two is loose, probably a zero cut. Click out of three. Small click on four, click on five, six, I believe is a zero cut. Seven is binding, nice click there. And I think that was all of them. Let's go back to the beginning. Something is holding us up. Nothing on two, nothing on three. There we go, little click out of four, and we got this open. Okay, folks, obviously this has some flaws, and shimming is the more troublesome of the two. That said, given the weather resistance and the above average build quality, there might be some appropriate low security outdoor application. Holding the barn doors or a gate closed, attaching a propane cylinder to your grill, things like that. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.